This is the solution to written homework 58. For part A, <coughs> let's consider the partials of f. So the x partial uh, would be, so the k is a constant, so that will go to just x, so kx. And then plus 2y. Okay, kx plus 2y, good. The y partial is 2x plus 4y. These partials are always defined. Therefore, the only kind of critical point that we'll find is when both partials are zero. So notice, at the origin, the x partial at the origin is zero, and the y partial at the origin is zero. And therefore, the origin is a critical point. as a result of these together. Okay, so for parts um, B, C, and D, we'll need the second partials. So the X, X partial the X, X partial is K the yy partial is 4. The xy partial, which is to say first x then y, is 2. And the yx partial, which is to say first y then x, first y then x is also 2. These are the same. So that's good. And at the origin, the classifier H, well, that's the product of the mixed partials. So that's K times 4, and then minus the product of the the, the product of the pure partials minus the product of the mixed partials so two squared. So then H is 4K minus uh, 4. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's plot that. plot this. This is the k axis, this is the h axis. Uh, we could simplify this just a little bit, maybe, uh, or just represent it in a slightly different way, 4 times k minus 1. So at 1, <coughs> at k is 1, intercept right here. And <coughs> h is 4k minus 4 looks like this. So that's h is 4k minus 4. So notably, the distinction is that 
to the right of here, to the right of k is 1, this is where h, the h value is positive. And to the left, this is where the h value uh, is negative. So, so to be a minimum, for a minimum, remember that we need H to be positive and the uh, XX partial, the XX partial at zero, zero, uh, to be less than zero. Okay, so that's the requirement that the that this classifier is positive and the uh, mixed partial is negative. Well, this is saying <coughs> this is saying that uh, k is greater than one okay, and so this one is saying this, and this one is saying k is less than zero. So there's no solution to this. There's no k that is both more than one and less than zero. So there's no solution to this, to, to those requirements, and therefore, uh, Zero, 0, is never a min. Okay, so then for part C, when is it a max? Again, we're going to need that H is positive. Ah, oh, wait a second. To be a min. Well, I have these backwards. So to be a min, this has to be uh, the classifier has to be positive, and the mixed partial has to be positive. So k is more than one, and k is more than zero. Combining those two together, these simplify to simplifies to just k is more than one. one. Uh, therefore, zero, zero is a min when k is more than one. Okay, so that's the answer to part B. Now for C. To be a max, we're going to need that the classifier is positive and the mixed partial xx uh, at 0, 0 is negative. This one can never happen. Can never happen. Because the classifier uh, is positive to the right of 1, but this is x, so we need uh, to the right of 1. So we need k to be to the right of 1, and also for this to be true, we need k to be to the left of 0. That has no solution.
therefore, uh, zero, zero is never a maximum. And finally, for part D, in order for uh, it to be a saddle, we need H to be negative, and in this case, uh, the only requirement is that K is less than 1. And so, uh, 0, 0 is uh, a saddle. <coughs> when k all right all my k is the same when k is less than 1 okay so those answers were min k is more than 1 never a maximum saddle when you're less than one.